This recording details how to use the tariff display and its interactive elements using Travelport SmartPoint. SmartPoint offers a fantastic environment to request fares for city pairs to check details and analyse rules. Apart from the current information supplied by Focal Point, there are many clickable items with follow-up material to complete the whole fare investigation process before selling. The same entries are used within the SmartPoint environment as we would normally use to access fare displays in Focal Point, using the same modifiers to access specific carriers, one-way or returns, private fares, passenger types, etc. For more information on formats for tariff display, please see answer ID 8598 within Ask Travel Port. Information is colour coded and many options can be expanded to view more information. Let's familiarise ourselves with the display before looking at expanding information. The screen may look familiar to agents accustomed to using fair displays in native Galileo. The date and time of the last fares update will always be shown, as this is done on a regular basis throughout the day. Also displayed is the date that has been requested. We can then see the maximum permitted miles when travelling within a specific global indicator. Here it also advises that additional taxes and fees may apply. This display includes both public and private fares for the pseudo city code and there is a message that airport fares exist. We are also informed that US dollar fares exist for this routing. Private fares are indicated with a hyphen in front of the carrier code. Each column has a header indicating carrier, fare, which will always be shown in the currency of fare origin or the currency that the originating country uses by default. A letter R after the fare indicates that this is a return fare. Next we have the fare basis code, the booking class code, advanced purchase, minimum maximum stays, seasonal restrictions, mileage or routing indicator, global indicator, date or time restrictions. The first expandable piece of information is informing us that unsaleable fares may exist. Click on it to view, although you may find that in fact there are no unsaleable fares. Unsaleable fares have geographical sales restrictions coded, which prevents them from being displayed in the main fare display. In order to see unsaleable fares, it may be necessary to include the carrier code in the search parameters if there is more than one carrier with unsaleable fares for that routing. An example showing unsaleable fares would be Saigon to London with Thai Airways. The second expandable piece of information we will look at relates to the translation of the date, routing, booking class code and carrier into an availability display by clicking on the relevant line number. The availability will reflect relevant carrier and booking class codes. To return to the fare display, enter FD. Hovering the mouse over the carrier code will decode this. By clicking on the fare amount, we can view the penalties attached to this rule, for example, Rule 16. Click on Close to exit this. To see the rules in full for any particular fare, click on the fare basis code. Then, it is a case of scrolling through to read the rules. There is a link in green at the top of the rules to return to the fares display. Clicking on the booking class code will show the booking code information, such as secondary booking class codes, if a secondary carrier is required for the routing. The routing would need to be checked first for secondary carrier information, which would then need to be added into the fill-in box. Click on close to exit the information and to go back to the fare display. If there is a plus or a number in the AP column indicating that an advanced purchase rule exists for the fare, 
click to view details of the rules. Clicking on the minimum maximum will open up the rules in detail on minimum and maximum stays. If the flight has seasonal restrictions, clicking the date in the season column will open up the detailed rules. Let's take a look at another routing. If the fare was based on the routing and we needed to see the details of the routings allowed, Clicking on the R shows details of routings and carriers. This would also show us the secondary carriers allowed for particular parts of the routing. Alternatively, an M in this column would indicate a fare based on the mileage. And again, additional information would be viewed by clicking on the M. To see a description of the global indicator, simply click on it to open up this information. We will now bring up another fare display for a different city pair. This time Oslo to Tokyo, just displaying Seaman fares. To see the individual passenger type code, click SEA. For our final fare display, let's modify our current search and change the destination to Los Angeles. And we will also look at normal adult fares now. Any day or time restrictions would be indicated by a D or a T in the very last column. It is rare to find flights with time restrictions, but the T would be in the same column as the day restrictions. By clicking on this column, we can see the specific days and times that this fare would be valid on. It is also possible to convert the fares we are seeing into an alternative currency by clicking on the currency code shown in blue. We can now enter the currency we wish to convert to and the display will be changed to that currency. Entering USD will allow us to see the display in American dollars with the rate of exchange shown just above the tariff display.